If you're one of those sorts who think games should only ever be challenging and find value solely in difficulty, then Wonder Song is not going to be a game for you. However, if you want to play a game that's just lovely and is concerned primarily with being silly fun, then Wonder Song most certainly is for you. Unless you don't like it, then it won't be for you. But I like it. So it's for me, and I think some of you might like it as well. Wonder Song is a sweet little adventure game about a bard who has to stop the world from ending using the power of song. In a world where people, quite justifiably, think that you can't solve all of your problems with singing. The bard's job, of course, is to prove that wrong and demonstrate that indeed you can save everybody and solve everything by bashing out a few notes. The bard travels across a brightly coloured, cardboard cutout world, meeting all sorts of wacky characters, solving problems, annoying their friends, and trying to collect pieces of a song that will help them stop the incoming apocalypse. Despite its heavy premise, Wonder Song is an upbeat, cheerful, optimistic adventure game, where even characters who know what's coming seem to be seeing the positive side of it. Even the protagonist, fighting to stop the world's destruction, is mostly just happy about going on an adventure and potentially being a hero. At its heart, Wonder Song is a simple adventure game about singing, and if you're playing on the Nintendo Switch version, which of course I did, you will sing with the right analogue stick. You move the stick in eight directions in order to hit different notes, and you'll be using that for puzzles, to sing along with songs, and sometimes just to reply to a character where you move the stick across different notes to hit different syllables, just to confirm or deny something. You can sing at any time, even if a character's talking to you, even during a cutscene, you can always move that stick to get little notes out. There's even a dedicated dance button. If you want to shuffle your feet around the world, or again during cutscenes, just hold down the dance button. More games should have a dedicated dance button. Where's the dedicated dance button in Gears of War? Sort it out. Of course, the singing isn't just there for show, you will need that to solve a variety of puzzles, and it is quite a variety. Wonder Song is quite good at implementing its note-based gameplay to versatile effect. Sometimes you'll be singing to change the direction of wind currents, sometimes you'll be using it to rotate levers, and you will, of course, be putting that singing to great effect during various musical performances. Using the right stick to sing can feel a little bit tricky, a little bit fiddly, more than it has to be you are trying to hit eight notes on an analogue stick that really isn't the tightest of sticks out there. And in order to hit the notes most efficiently, you're expected to move the stick in one direction, let go, and then move it in the other required direction, which isn't the most intuitive way of doing things. If you try and rotate, then the bard will sing every note along the way, which will just sound a bit messy. This is especially notable when you're expected to sing one note twice in a row, and if you've not gotten used to the idea of letting go of the stick every time, which in rhythm games is not what you usually do, you'll be momentarily confused. However, Wonder Song is not a rhythm action game, so there are no real penalties if you don't hit every note perfectly. The worst you'll have to do is maybe do a, a very short sequence again, but really the biggest punishment you could expect to see is the song not sounding quite as good as it could. Some of the singing sequences take the form of simple Simon style games where one character bashes out some notes and then you follow. Everything's telegraphed to both both in terms of colour and direction, so you're never left wondering exactly what note you're supposed to hit. Every note is colour-coded and corresponds to a very specific direction in which you tilt the stick. Sometimes you'll be following a marker on the radial singing menu trying to follow along with a song as coloured indicators fly towards the menu, telling you exactly how long you're supposed to hold each note for. Again, there's no real penalty for messing this up, but it's nonetheless very fun to do. Where Wonder Song really puts the melodic gameplay to use though is in its environmental puzzles. Sometimes you'll have to sing a note in a certain direction to push back the roaring of a monster, or using the singing's radial menu to remotely control an object that responds to song and get it to move around the map. This is one of those games that doesn't like a repeat performance too much. Once you go through a series of puzzles, it won't then hammer you with them again and again, it'll try and do something new. It's one of my favourite types of games, the type of game that has a simple idea but then expands upon it. It doesn't try and do too much with too many ideas, and it doesn't take one idea and just repeat it over and over and over again. 
This game is not designed to stump you. It's not designed to keep you trapped in a location while you're trying to work out what to do. Everything's fairly straightforward and simple and well communicated to the player. And if you're not in it looking for a challenge, or if you're not expecting a rhythm game, then what you get is this adorable adventure. It's incredibly cute. It's just so sweet and good-natured, and we could do with more of that in our games. Its sense of humour is silly, but it's hard not to laugh at it, or at least give it a little smile. The characters are memorable. The whole thing evokes something like Adventure Time, both in terms of its sense of humour and its soundtrack as well. The music of this game made me think of Adventure Time quite a bit. Being a game of about a bardic adventurer. Wonder Song, of course, does have a very good soundtrack. It would need one. And I just can't get over how great it looks. The visual style is fantastic. The cardboard cutout characters are nicely stylized. And the colors, it's just garish, but in a good way. Lots of hot pinks and bright blues, the kind of game that you can play on an HD screen and have it really pop out at ya. Wonder Song is out on the Switch and PC. And if you want an incredibly endearing game with a dorky sense of humor and a range of fun characters, then this is a game that I think will please you. Wonder Song is a quirky, unassuming game about a funny little bard who wants to save the world. It's amusing, it's silly, and you can sing and dance whenever you want, which again, more games should have. Or rather they shouldn't, because that's what makes Wonder Song special. It is a special little game.